I was wondering how I could showcase the difference between my forefathers' lives in different time periods. Demarcating the difference between time periods is called periodizing. So, to help me with this periodizing process, I read this book, A History of British India, by a Scottish philosopher called James Mill. And guess what? He was pretty ill-informed. In his book, James Mill has subdivided Indian history into three periods. Hindu, Muslim and British. He based his periodization on what he thought was the best way to divide the history of India, based on the religions of the rulers. And of course, the British part of his periodization was to justify and laud their presence in India. But you shouldn't periodize history based on the religion of the ruler. Why? Well, not all the rulers were of the same faith at any point. And besides, the religion of the rulers doesn't dictate the religion of a period. During all these times, there were people from all faiths living together in the Indian subcontinent. A lot of historians felt that this religious division of history doesn't capture the essence of periodization. So, they came up with a different way of periodization. Historians came up with a division of history that was quite different from the one proposed by James Mill. They divided history into three periods. Ancient, medieval and modern. Now, in a lot of ways, these words were associated with the defining features of these ages. Each of these ages brought about changes to society. According to historians, the ancient period referred to the period marking the start of civilizations. The medieval period was often referred to as the Dark Ages due to the ignorance of the people about several topics like science, technology, democracy and equality. The modern period brought about a sea change to the economic and social lives of people. The modern period was seen as a period full of ideas and transformations. But some historians were not happy even with this periodization. According to them, it was borrowed from the West. The medieval period was not so dark and ignorant for the whole world, especially for India. The association of the modern period with the spread of the ideas of science and reasoning, democracy, equality and liberty didn't mean a lot to us Indians. We were ruled by the British and we did not even have freedom. There was no equality, liberty or democracy. Nor did this period bring any economic growth for us. How so? Did the British not bring about any change? Well, they did. The British brought about changes to the economy, the society, the values, tastes, customs and practices of India, while ensuring that these changes were favorable to them and not to Indians. They subjugated and controlled the people of India by endorsing the apparent superiority of the Europeans. When the subjugation of one country by another leads to political, economic, social and cultural changes, we refer to the process as colonization. So, what can we name the period of British rule in India? Historians who name the period call this the colonial period. Thanks to various historians, I can now use periodization while writing my ancestral history too. It will help me capture the central features 
of all the periods my ancestors lived in. I can name the different periods in my book based on events relevant to my ancestors' perspectives. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.